Florida, New Mexico, we have student athletes Jamal Baker Jr., Jamal Mashburn Jr., and Coach Richard Pertino. Coach, let's start with you. Get some thoughts on today's game. Um, uh, really, really proud of the guys in this locker room. You know, they, they had so much belief the whole year and uh, came into this tournament playing confidently, playing loose, um, and winning in a variety of ways. Nobody's ever, I believe, won in this tournament four games and four nights like this. And we never looked fatigued. Um, San Diego State is a program that we got a lot of respect for. We knew we'd have to uh, raise our level of toughness, um, and we did it. So um, happy for our amazing fan base. Happy for the state of New Mexico, the city of Albuquerque. I know how much they love college basketball. Uh, we're going to enjoy this moment tonight. Thank you, Coach. Question for the student athletes first over here. Brayden Nurse with the Mountain West. Coach just mentioned it for both of you guys, first team ever to play all four days and come out with a title. What does that mean to you, and what does that say about your team? Uh, man, it's just a testament to our group and our toughness. Um, you know, we, we've gone through – you know, so much stuff this year throughout either individually, together. Man, we, we, we've been through the ups and downs together, but we've never, um, you know, separated. And we, we continue to work throughout our struggles. And, man, it's just a testament to our toughness and, uh, you know, how we just keep going and everybody's just on the same page at all times. He said it. He said it. Our focus being right there. Sometimes you have to match great defense with great defense. It's work for you guys. Up to this point, you had 14 points off of 10 turnovers, turnovers today. You know you're a great offensive team, but what kind of confidence does this give you, these defensive performances like this for the tournament? Definitely gives us confidence. I mean, that's what Coach has been emphasizing, um, just being scrappy, being tough, and, uh, and getting out on the break and running. So uh, we've been executing the game plan these last few games, and we have to continue on doing that in, in the tournament. Over here. Uh, first for you, Jamal Baker. Uh, as you've had an incredible journey, uh, seven years, four schools, at, at the end of, not at the complete end of this road, as you know, you guys have clinched at least one more game, but what does it feel like helping be a part of a title winning team for the first time in a decade for the school? It's incredible, man, it's incredible. We've worked so hard to, to get to this point. Like Matt said, we had so many ups and downs this year. Um, and we all just stay confident in ourselves and we all just stay together. And um, I mean, if it, it feels great to, I mean, it's not over yet, but it does feel great to, to get a championship on my way out for sure. Um, and then Jamal uh, Mashburn, sorry, I had to press record. As you look to your side and you see uh, your coach, who you were one of the first two people he recruited, and all the way at the end of, not at the complete end of this journey, but mm -hmm. near the end, you guys are bringing home a title to Albuquerque. What, what does that mean to you, and what's your, what's your connection been like with, with the coach? Ah oh, man, I mean, this guy right here, man, he's 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 dealt with me through the worst times of my life, through the best times of my life, and uh, I can only be grateful and and be appreciative uh, for a coach like this to be able to, you know, put me in positions to succeed and and for him to just trust me and trust me to be myself, trust me to go out there and attack, trust me to uh, go out there and defend and do whatever I need to do to to help win to win win a game. So. Man, our our we, we our goal to come here was to win a championship and cut down nets, and 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 we we did that. So it was, it's not over yet, but we did that. Over here, uh, for the players, a lot's been mentioned about the competition level of the conference. A lot's been mentioned about six teams going tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> how far do you think all these six teams will go uh, in the big dance? Man, we we got six we got six games to win. I um, mean, that's our goal and. Uh, we're very confident um, and we're very humble about this process and we know we got to, um, you know, I don't know when we leave or when we had to get a head out or whatever, but we're ready to go. We're ready to play whoever and, um, yeah, we're going to win some games. We're going to make some noise. For sure. I mean, uh, we have a group that knows that we can beat anybody, so we just have to get back to work and, um, and, and be ready for whoever we play and, and whenever it is. Over here. Zach Lane, Lobo Lane, um, MASH uh, has already been mentioned, how you followed uh, the guy to your right there here three years ago. Mm -hmm. um, you've had up and ups and downs with your shooting this year. Um, how did it feel getting your shot going when uh, you had Donovan Dent not 100%? Um, I mean, 
you know, I know I've struggled shooting the ball, and I'm, I'm happy I was able to come out here and make some shots, but I always uh, stay confident in myself, uh, you know, throughout anything, um, just because I put in the work and I, I put in the hours and the time and, and the equity uh, in my game. So, um, you know, my confidence has never wavered. Um, you know, there's been ups and downs throughout this year, as with any athlete, you know, it's tough. But um, just being able to stick through and push through, and these are the moments that you stick through and push through for, for championships, for um, you know teams and you know winning and stuff like that. So that's what we that's what we stick to it for. So, yeah. Anything else for our student athletes? Okay, we'll dismiss them at this time. Thank yeah. you, man. Questions for the coach? Yeah, coach, just what does it mean for you to get your first title in this in this year where it's probably arguably the best year in this conference history? It means a lot. Um, you know, I, I, I took a, a chance uh, when I took this job, and I did it because of our fan base. I wanted to be at a place um, that celebrated basketball, and I wanted to be in a community that really cared about the basketball program. And uh, with that, a lot comes with it. It really does. And uh, sometimes it can be hard, you know, and there were some tough times this year with some tough lots, especially at home, um, where you had to pick yourself up off the mat and you just had to keep believing in what we're doing and believing in the guys in the locker room. Um, and our guys never, ever wavered from their confidence. They really didn't. And uh, they came into this tournament truly believing that they could win it. Um, you know, so it's why I picked up my family and took a, took a risk. And uh, it sure feels like it's paying off right now. And to do all that for a fan base that has embraced you and this team, just what, what do you see it mean to your team? I think it's one of the best fan bases in college basketball. I truly, truly believe it. Um, they are as invested in this program uh, on a daily basis as a Kentucky, um, you know, where I grew up, you know, for eight years. I don't see a whole lot of a difference. Um, and they, they're loyal. And, you know, when we first got here, we were 303 in the net. Half the building was empty. And, um, you know, to get guys like Jalen House and Jamal Mashburn to come to your school without ever seeing campus um, and then being able to have this payoff, it's just uh, it's an amazing journey and uh, truly am very grateful and appreciative. Also just curious, what was your message during the last media timeout? You're tied at 59. Get stops. You know, get stops. Clearly, they were going to Ladie every single time. We were having um, some issues um, there with with getting stops. He was getting fouled, which he does. He's great at it. And he was knocking down his free throws. Uh, but we just had to go make winning plays, you know. And we just we found a way to get a couple more winning plays down the stretch. Our defense and our rebounding really grew this tournament. And uh, we had no chance to win if we didn't start getting scrappy uh, like we did. And then to be able to do it without really Donovan Dent, I mean, he really um, fought to give us 12 minutes and uh, very appreciative of him as well. Back here. Yeah, Coach, uh, Chuck Culpepper from the Washington Post. I was wondering uh, how you would describe as vividly as you'd like what it was like to play the, in this league this season. Uh, I really liked our team, and I felt like uh, we could compete with anybody, but there were a lot of good teams that we were going against, and there were a lot of teams. Obviously, we're going to get six in the NCAA tournament. UNLV is as good as any of them as well. Um, so it was just uh, – it was like made for TV every single night. Uh, great players, great coaches, fan bases that truly care. Um, I remember coming here thinking – all right, maybe it's a little bit of a step down from the Big Ten. Didn't feel like it on a nightly basis. It really didn't. I mean, packed houses, national TV, um, and there were just wars every night. So I know I got better as a coach going against some of these amazing coaches and programs. And um, it was a long, long season, but very rewarding. Right here. Hi, Coach. Hi. Uh, Crystal Ciarza from 505 Sports Venture Foundation. I think the entire state of New Mexico is celebrating with you right now. What impact did name, image, and likeness in the greater New Mexico community, which you kind of alluded to, uh, what impact did they all have upon you, uh, upon helping you build this championship roster? Well, I think the thing, you take a, a, a job at a place that cares, and, um, you know, you need to be, invested and uh, we have a fan base and we have a community that really really cares um, and I'm so 
very appreciative of their support and appreciative of uh, all that believe in us and stick with us through highs and lows. Uh, so I hope they are enjoying this moment uh, just like we are. Over here. Uh, Coach, Jamal Mashburn and Jalen House combined for 49 points, with those being the two first building blocks of this, uh, of this championship. What, what did it mean to you to see them go out and perform like that and both deliver just legendary performances? Yeah, uh, as I said before, when we got the job, we were not allowed to go recruiting uh, because of the pandemic. So we put together a recruiting class of eight players that had never stepped on campus. Three are left, uh, Sebastian Forsling, Jamal Mashburn Jr. and Jalen House. Jalen House and Mash have been all conference players. This year was a little bit more challenging because of all the injuries and the emergence of Donovan Dent. And um, we had to play them together. There were times where it was hard because of defense and rebounding. Um, but we felt like it would put us in a position to win. Now you come in and Donovan Dent is really sick. He can't play. And Mashin House stepped up, uh, as older guys uh, absolutely do in, in that time. And then last question. Have you gotten a chance to, to talk to your dad, Rick, yet? Or uh, what, if you had to take a guess, what do you think the, the first thing he's going to say is? Uh, I've not spoken to him. Um, I'm sure he's hopefully very proud. Um, I hope my mom's proud, my family's proud. You know, anytime, anytime you get fired, it's hard. You know, as a young head coach and you're Rick Pitino's son and everybody's comparing you to him. And you do feel a little bit of a burden, you know. I, I'm probably not going to go in the Naismith Hall of Fame like he is, and that's okay. Um, but you got to have a high level of belief in yourself. And um, I wouldn't be able to do this profession without being able to lean on my mom and my dad and the support, uh, you know, because they're always there. You know, we're far away from each other, uh, but they're always there. And, um, you know, I, I am the person... Uh, the husband, the father that, that I try to be every day because of my parents. Over here. Coach, uh, I asked uh, Dutch what was the difference in the game when the game was in the balance, really, in the, about five, six minutes ago in the game. And he just basically said House. I, w I was wondering if you would agree with that. Yeah, House is the type of guy who, because they really switch all ball screens. They, they mixed up their coverages. But you got to go make plays. Either you can throw it in the low post, which it's hard to score on, um, or you can kind of take him off the bounce. And Jalen got to the free throw line, uh, made some big shots. Uh, fierce, fierce competitor. I was never a little bit concerned that he would be tired. Uh, he, he's built for moments like this. Uh, Coach, following up the NIL question, I know you're obviously looking forward to the uh, NCAA tournament. You've got three young guys on your roster who have played very well this year got exposure on national TV today, are going to get exposure in the NCAA tournament. Uh, with the way things are right now, how concerned are you at a quote-unquote mid-major program that you're going to be able to keep those guys knowing what, what's coming? Yeah, well, for one, I, I don't think we're a mid-major program. I don't think San Diego State and a lot of these programs are. Um, the salaries may be a little different at times and some of the budgets, but I don't, think, I don't feel like the players on a day-to-day -day basis feel that. You know, you try not to worry about it. It's coming for all of us. Um, it just is. It's the reality of it. You try to create a culture um, that they believe you're going to be invested in them. Um, you know, there's always going to people be pe people with more money. That's just the reality of coaches, players, ADs, everywhere. Um, you know, so you just got to hope and be as transparent with them as possible. And, um, you know, you want what's best for them. You really do. I mean, and it's... I feel like all three of those guys and a lot of the guys that we could bring back uh, could be in a great position. Uh, so, you know, you, you understand. I mean, I think you understand that opportunities are always going to be there, but you just try to be as open and honest with everybody as you can. Okay, thank you for your time, Coach. Thank you, guys. Good luck. Thank you.